Have you ever wondered how some people seem to have a magical ability to persuade others effortlessly? If so, you're not alone. We've all been captivated by charismatic individuals who can influence our thoughts, beliefs, and actions with merely their words. This, my friends, is the power of persuasion. Persuasion isn't just about winning arguments or debates. It's an art form that requires an understanding of human nature and a mastery of communication skills. It's about building bridges, not barriers. And it's about creating connections that inspire change. From the boardroom to the dinner table, persuasion plays a pivotal role in our everyday lives. It's how we convince our colleagues to support our ideas, how we encourage our children to make wise choices, and even how we negotiate the best deals. Mastering the art of persuasion can open countless doors, giving you an edge in your professional and personal life. So, are you ready to harness this power? Join us as we unravel the secrets behind the art of persuasion. The first strategy to effective persuasion lies in establishing trust and credibility. Now, let's dive deeper into this concept. Trust and credibility are the bedrock of any persuasive effort. They're the scaffolding that supports your arguments, making them credible and convincing. Imagine a successful corporate leader, someone like Satya Nadella of Microsoft. Nadella didn't just skyrocket to his position overnight. Rather, he earned his reputation and the trust of his team through years of consistent, reliable performance. His credibility was built on a foundation of expertise, demonstrated through his deep understanding of the tech industry and his consistent drive to innovate and lead. This credibility, this trust, is what makes people listen when he speaks and follow when he leads. Similarly, in the realm of politics, leaders like Angela Merkel have shown that trust and credibility can be powerful tools of persuasion. Merkel's steady leadership and commitment to her principles have earned her the trust of her constituents, making her voice influential and her decisions respected. Remember, without trust, persuasion is simply manipulation. Emotions are powerful drivers of human behavior. They act as the catalyst that can turn a simple suggestion into a compelling call to action. When it comes to persuasion, appealing to emotions is a technique as old as time, yet as potent as ever. Let's consider a real-world example to illustrate this point. Remember the iconic Just Do It campaign by Nike? By associating their products with the emotional thrill of achieving personal goals and overcoming challenges, Nike didn't just sell athletic gear, they sold a feeling. They tapped into the powerful emotions of ambition, determination, and resilience. And in doing so, created a bond with their customers that went beyond the transactional. This is the power of emotions. They create connections, stir passions, and often drive decisions. When you understand and incorporate this into your persuasion strategy, you're not just persuading, you're resonating. Harnessing emotions can transform your persuasion skills. We are social creatures, and we often look to others for guidance. This is where the concept of social proof comes into play. In essence, social proof is the psychological phenomenon where people conform to the actions of others under the assumption that those actions are the correct behavior. It's the reason why we're more likely to buy a product with lots of positive reviews or why we're more likely to trust a brand that our friends recommend. Let's illustrate this with a case study. Consider a successful social media influencer. They've built a strong follower base who trusts their opinions and recommendations. When this influencer promotes a product or service, their followers are more likely to perceive it as valuable and trustworthy, simply because someone they admire endorses it. This is social proof in action. 
leveraging the power of influence and trust to persuade. When used correctly, social proof can be a powerful tool in your persuasion arsenal. People are more interested in benefits than features. Think about it. When you buy a car, are you buying four wheels and an engine? Or are you buying the freedom to travel, the convenience of commutes, or perhaps the status symbol it represents? This is the crux of highlighting benefits over features. Features are factual statements about a product or service, like, this phone has a five inch screen. But benefits? They're the outcomes or results that users will experience from using that product or service like enjoy crystal clear visuals on a large vibrant display. Consider the case of a successful product launch. The product was a revolutionary home cleaning device. Instead of highlighting technical specifications, the campaign focused on benefits, more free time, less physical strain, and a healthier home. The result, record breaking sales. This approach doesn't just apply to products, but to ideas and proper sales too. It's about showing the positive impact, the value addition, the problem solved. Remember, benefits sell, features tell. Urgency can be a powerful motivating factor. You see, urgency is like a spark that ignites action. It's an indispensable tool in the art of persuasion, subtly encouraging people to move from contemplation to action. It creates a psychological tension that needs resolution, and the quickest way to resolve this tension is to act. Let's delve into a real-world example. Imagine a salesperson pitching a limited-time offer. The product is of high quality, and the price is reasonable. However, the real clincher is the ticking clock. The offer expires in three days. This sense of urgency propels the customer to buy now rather than later to avoid missing out. The fear of loss is a compelling motivator, and urgency taps into this fear, driving people to act swiftly. In essence, urgency is about creating a compelling reason to act now. It's a dynamic, and potent persuasion technique that when wielded wisely can yield impressive results. Creating urgency can be the push that people need to take action. People are more likely to be persuaded by those they like and trust. This statement rings true in every facet of life, from business negotiations to personal relationships. Building rapport and likability is a critical tool in the art of persuasion. Let's take a look at a case study of a successful negotiator. John, a seasoned sales executive, has a knack for making his clients feel at ease. He listens carefully, shows genuine interest, and finds common ground, building a rapport that goes beyond the transactional nature of his work. This approach not only makes clients feel valued, but also fosters a sense of trust. John's likability quotient is high. He is affable, and his authenticity shines through his interactions, making him a beloved figure among his clients. His success in striking deals is not solely due to his product knowledge or negotiation skills, but largely attributed to his ability to build rapport and his likability. Rapport and likability are the foundation of effective persuasion. Stories captivate us. They engage our emotions and our imagination. Just think of Martin Luther King Jr., a master storyteller who used his narratives to inspire and drive change. He didn't just present facts or demands. He painted vivid pictures of a future where equality reigned supreme. His stories were not merely anecdotes. They were visions of a world we could all aspire to. They persuaded by creating connections, kindling empathy, and driving home the point. A well-told story can be a powerful persuasion tool. Objections are not roadblocks, they are opportunities. It's essential to understand that addressing objections and counter-arguments is not about winning a debate, but about creating a dialogue. Take, for instance, the famous Lincoln-Douglas debates, 
Both sides were able to strengthen their arguments by addressing the other's points, which ultimately engaged their audience better. So remember, when you encounter objections, don't shy away. Embrace them and use them as stepping stones to refine your argument. Addressing objections head-on can strengthen your persuasive power. Ever noticed how you feel obliged to return a favor? That's the principle of reciprocity at work, a powerful persuasion technique. Imagine a business negotiation where one party initiates by offering valuable insights or resources. The other party naturally feels a sense of indebtedness, a need to reciprocate. This can create a favorable environment for negotiation, leading to successful outcomes. Think of it as a strategic give and take that fosters mutual benefits. Reciprocity can be a subtle yet effective persuasion technique. Authenticity breeds trust and respect. This is the backbone of persuasion. A mask or facade might work temporarily, but genuine authenticity is what truly resonates. Consider the public figures we admire. They aren't just persuasive because of their rhetoric or charisma, but because they're real and honest. They wear their heart on their sleeve, enabling us to connect with them on a deeper level their authenticity is their persuasive power. So remember, being genuine and authentic enhances your persuasive power. Before we wrap things up, let's talk about something we often hear at the end of every YouTube video. Like and subscribe. These simple actions have a profound impact on the content you enjoy. When you like a video, it helps us reach more people spreading the knowledge and insights we've worked hard to share with you. On the other hand, subscribing ensures you don't miss out on any of our future content. It's your way of staying connected with us and the valuable information we provide. So, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, and remember, your support fuels our content. Stay tuned for more.